Hi everyone, it's Jason coming to you today with a virtual Curious Kids activity. Today, we're going to talk about something that I think is really cool. Video game pixels, or pixels in video games. So, do you know why some of the older video games, like Super Mario Brothers, this is what? on a Super Nintendo or a Retro Nintendo Mario looked like not very detailed not very clear and today's Mario looks more like this well the reason for that is that technology back then wasn't as, a, as advanced so they didn't have as many pixels to make the picture and today they have a way to put a lot more pixels in the video games to make better pictures. And I'll explain what a pixel is. So if you have a draft, draft paper, each box on your draft paper is a pixel. So a pixel is just a box that can only have one color in it. And that whole box has to be that one color. So, the bigger the pixel, the less detail you have in your picture. So, and the way we're going to show you that, and here's another piece of draft paper. This is smaller draft paper. So, you, you can get make your own draft paper to different sizes. So, what I've done is I've taken my three-fourths inch graph paper and I made a heart. You can see on my heart how it's not real round, it's kind of botsy. That's because the pixels are bigger and you can't get as much detail. So you have to color in each box one color. And if we go to A smaller graph this is a 1 4th inch graph paper you can kind of see that our heart is starting to have a little more round shape to it and there's not much difference but you can start seeing a difference and then if we go even smaller to a 1 8th inch graph paper you can even see a little bit more roundness in in it but with just a basic heart there's not much difference in the three because there's not much detail in the heart but when you get to a picture that has a lot of detail it changes so what I've done to show you this was I printed a Mario on my graph paper like that and I did one for each each size of graph paper. Then I followed the outline of my Mario and I colored the boxes in. So on this paper you can see how I follow the outline and each line that's part of the hat and is red, each of those boxes have to be colored in red. So you can kind of see what that would look like with a bigger pixeled picture and then I did one for a smaller pixel and you can see the detail is a little better on this one than that one and then here's the big one see how it gets less detailed the bigger the pixel goes that's because in each box you can only have one color the, those were the pictures that had the picture printed on it now this these are the same Mario without the pictures printed on it there's our big one that's what he would look like without the picture printed on it. Not a lot of detail, 
real blocky, hard to see anything. Can't even see that there's an M on his hat, it's just a big red square. His eyes don't have much detail. His buttons just look like big red squares. His hands just look like a bunch of squares put together. But then we go to the smaller pixel. This is a one fourth pixel. So that means each square is only one fourth of an inch. You can see that it's starting to get a little clearer. You can kind of see it, the start of an M going. His eyes are a little more detailed. His hands look a little bit more like hands. His buttons are starting to look a little more like buttons. But then if we go even smaller, to our one eighth, you can really start to see. You can see the M on his hat. You can see the circle on his hat. His eyes have more details. His buttons look like buttons. His hands look more like hands. That's because their smaller pixels means you can get more detailed pictures. So what you can do for fun is take a piece of graph paper and draw any picture you want on your graph paper like I did with my heart and color your heart in and remember that any part of the heart that's in a box has to be colored completely red. That box has to be colored completely red. So on the big one you will get again a heart like that and on the smaller ones you get a little more detailed hearts. But you can draw any picture you want to see how this works. And that is the reason why the older video games pictures looked a lot more fuzzy and like what in the world is that and today's video game characters are a lot more realistic because these have a lot more pixels in them so they can get a lot more detail in there if you want to learn more about pixels you can ask your grown-up to help you find more information online um, but that's the basics of it. So the smaller the boxes, the more detail you can have in your picture. And that makes it easier to get the curves and all the little details in the picture because the boxes are smaller. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned a little bit about pixels. And I hope you'll play some of the old video games if you have them because they're really fun. We'll see you next time.